Well, hello again. Welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a UK reseller. Buy and sell antiques and collectibles and flip them for a profit. Buy from anywhere. You name it, I'll buy from it. This morning, it was Thursday morning, and I went to my local flea market, um, car boot sale in Splot in Cardiff, and I bought some absolutely stunning things. So, today you're going to get to look at what I bought, and I can tell you now it was an amazing day's buying. So, we're going to start off. You can obviously see the image of my shop here. Um, one, two, three, four. Four very large uh, reconstituted planters. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at them. They've got a bit of age to them and they weigh a ton. Three are in good condition, one is damaged around the top. They come off the plinths, they come in two parts. But don't they look just absolutely amazing? I was also given, because they'd smashed one of their bowls, I was given a free base. You see it there, so that can be used for someone else. But this one here, as you can see, is quite rough around the top. Still has that amazing aged look. But look at them. And the view you have when you walk in my shop is that. The four planters or jardiniers, garden moons, whatever you want to call them, all in a row, looking amazing. Now I'm going to let you guess uh, on how much I paid for them, I'll tell you in just a second. Um, but understand this, I went in a 2018 Mini uh, Countryman. Uh, so it wasn't a massive, massive car, and certainly not a working vehicle by any means. I went down there looking for some Chinese porcelain and some bits of gold and what have you and I come back with half a garden. But we got it in. So shall I tell you the price? Have you had a guess? 10 pound each. Didn't knock him on the price. He asked for 10 or each, and a 10 or each is what I give him. Absolutely gorgeous. I rate them at 65, 75 pound each. No problem at all. Maybe 45, 50 for the damaged one. Uh, but the other three are around there. Okay, so you've seen the planters, and weren't they absolutely amazing? Now, <clears throat> I bought other things in Splot as well, so we'll carry on. We'll go here. We have an absolute amazing Waterford Crystal decanter. Fully signed, this is the Irish Waterford. Before I moved, it's in perfect condition. I haven't researched the pattern yet, and the pattern does determine the value. However, it owes me £27. A £27, it's a no-brainer, to be totally honest with you. A perfect mint Waterford Crystal decanter of 14, 16 inches tall is going to be on the good north of £60. Uh, depending on pattern, could be as much as £100, £120, but for £27, absolutely love it. And that's another one for the website. It's not going on to eBay anymore. Website, guys, antiquesarena.com, should you wish to go and have a look. This was really unusual. It's a photograph album. Look at that little badge. Royal Mail Lines. Now the badge is worth what I paid for it. How much did I pay for it? 50 pence. I'm walking around Splot and there's a woman there selling in the corner and she's shouting everything on my stall is 50p. So I walks up and the first thing I see is this. Didn't even open it to look inside. I saw the badge and the folder I thought, I'll have that for 50p even if I rip the badge off. Um, however, it is absolutely chock-a-block full of old postcards. Now I haven't gone through them to see if there's anything of value here and see what stamps are on them and so forth, but every page is full of loads and loads of different postcards. So, nice little selection here. Yeah, you know, they're pretty, oh, that's nice. Somebody took that from the airplane, by the looks of that, are they? 
No, there's trees there. You know, they're pretty standard photographs, most of them. But they are photograph post postcards, not knocked up ones. So they're that nice. Is there a date on any of these? Let me have a look. Two and a half pence. 1963, London. 1973. 1973. This postcard is dated. I don't know if they're all going to be the same. So either way, for 50 pence I got a photograph album that I'm going to take all the postcards out, clean the album up and sell the album. Uh, probably get 15 or 20 pound for the album on his own, maybe a bit more, I don't know, but about 15, 20 pound. And then I'm going to go through the postcards and I'll probably sell them as a job lot, 15, 20 pound. So for 50 pence, I'm probably going to get 20, 30 quid. That's all right. And it's a nice, interesting item. Sticking with Splot, I purchased. A nice early, I don't know, what was it, Model T Ford or something like that? I don't bloody know. Uh, solid brass model of a car, a really early one. So, no idea what the car is, but uh, it's a nice decorative piece. That cost me a tenner. Um, it's just a nice interesting thing. It's going to go over there on the table in the um, shop, and I'll probably put 25 or 30 pounds on that quite comfortably as a nice decorative piece and I also had which I've never had before I'll be honest with you all I gotta do is get it out of the bag as you can see I come in yesterday and I haven't touched the stuff it's still bagged up what I got is a double layer mining uh, ornament so on the top here, you've got the horse and cart, missing a bit of coal. You've got the winding wheel, which would pull up the uh, trams. You've got a little miner underneath, a little miner's lamp, and another cart full of coal. I've never seen a double layered one. I've, I've had winding wheels, I've had, I've had it all, but in single versions. I have never, ever seen a double version. Now, it's lost a bit of coal here, it's lost some coal off here. I can easily replace coal. It's just get a few bits of coal, glue them on, job done. Should I wish? I'm not going to bother. Uh, it's unusual enough to sell as is, and I'll leave them put a bit of coal on it. And in all honesty, I have never seen one. It's got to be 30, 40 quid. No problems whatsoever. And again, cost me a tenner. Is that it? Splot, bear with me. Nope. Walking round. Real nice, it's got to be two and a half kilos of crystal, two, two and a half kilos at a guess. Uh, beautiful quality. It's not signed, but it was just a really nice, heavy crystal jug. And I thought that'll go in the shop for £30, no problem at all, and it was £7. It's just a nice bit of heavy quality. I tell you what, it weighs a ton now, you imagine that full. It does pour quite nice though in the hand. But I love this leaf design. I, as soon as I saw it, I recognised design. I thought maybe it was like Jasper Conran or something like that. Um, but I haven't researched it at the moment, and I probably won't. Because there's no signature to go off. And it's just a standard leaf pattern, if you like. I'm not going to research it. It's just going to go out 30 quid in the shops. A nice bit of quality. And I'll be happy with that. Last piece I had from Splot was an antique jewellery box. Now these sell very well. This fake tortoise shell uh, effect on there, and a box like that on its own on eBay would be twelve quid, no problem at all. I just sell them by job lots. I'd put like six or seven boxes together and sell them, you know, for fifty, sixty quid. Um, but again, that was a pound. I could put it on twelve quid, and somebody's going to give me a tenner for that with my eyes closed. They really are. Because antique dealers like to display antiques in old boxes. So that's a really nice little find. And the bloke, he was a dealer, and he gave it to me for a pound. Oh, happy days, I'll buy them all day long. Okay, um, let me just check if I got anything else.
Okay, that was it for Splot. Uh, from Splot, I went over to the pumping station, which is a massive antique center in Cardiff city center. And I bought a pair, so two of. Now, normally I would say the pickle jars. However, these are shaped more like a tea caddy. They're oval. They're not round, they are oval like a tea caddy. I just wish they had a bit more shoulder and then I would say 100% they're a tea caddy. So I'm at the moment on the fence. Are they a pickle jar or are they a tea caddy? But they're 19th century. They're beautiful quality. Here's the first, I'll show you the second now. I gotta figure out first of all if they're um, a tea caddy or pickle jar. Leave your comments, I wouldn't mind your opinions. I wish, as I said, the shoulders were out a bit more and then I could confidently say they're a tea caddy. But these are really, really nice. Now I paid £15 the pair, which I think was a gift. If they're pickle jars, or preserved jars, whatever you want to call it, then they're probably 45 the pair. If they're tea caddies, I can put a one in front of that. So you can see why I'm hoping they come across as tea caddies, because they have got that shape. Just need to come over just a half inch more on either side. I tell you what, I wouldn't even be questioning, I'd say they're tea caddies. But they're not round. As I've said, they're not round, they are oval. So, leave your comments, leave your opinions, let's see what you think. They're probably going to come back as pickle jars, but that's okay. I don't mind that. So that was it for um, the spot car boot sale and the antique fair. However, it's not over there. I visited my mother yesterday and my mother's next door neighbour came out. He's a dealer and he said I got a nice little haul job lot are you interested and I said yes now the next group of items I'm going to show you didn't come in cheap they owe me 150 pounds for the parcel so there are one two three there's five pieces so on average they owe me 30 quid but there's five pieces in the parcel I'm going to start off with my favorite First off, we have a milking stool. Now this is an 18th century milking stool, probably 1750, somewhere under there. It's got splayed legs, really nice piece. It does rock when you put it on the floor a little, um, but it's not the end of the world. And it has had woodworm, but if you were 270 year old, you'd have had a little bit of worm too, but it is long gone. Love the way they've Look at that, they've hammered big steel um, lion pegs in to spread the wood to hold it in. It's just a really nice piece. Look at the patina and finish on that. Now, personally, I think that's 100, 120 pound of anybody's money. And that's probably what I'm gonna price it at, 125 pounds to take an offer. Um, and we'll see where offer comes in. But that is 1750 all day long. 1750, 1760, really good early milking stool. Love it. Wasn't the only milking stool I had. I then had this one, which I think is probably late 19th or early 20th century. Still a nice little piece. They have been waxed up and taken care of lovely. Somebody have loved them. But I do think this one is, um, yeah, much, much later than the last. Again, if I have worm, but the worm is dead, I have checked. It's long gone. Just give it a tap like that. If you see dust falling out, the worm is still alive. But you can kill it easy enough just by some chemicals, paint it on, job done. So this nice, real sturdy uh, milking stool. And it's got to be 45, 50 pounds for a nice stool like that. So already I'm in the profit. 120 should achieve 100 should achieve 40 on here. So we're up to let's say 140 um, So I'm about close to money back oh, The two stools Next piece we got is beautiful It is an old railway timekeeper with key And this is for a fob it's a railway timekeeper specifically. Uh, I can't 
can't see where the last bit says. Swiss made, and it is a runner. It does run. I need to rewind. Sure, it was running yesterday. You might have uh, about to make a run down. go so if you watch the second hand there it is running don't know how long it'll run before it stops you may need a service but at the moment it's running now it's in lovely condition it really is nice and clean it's a beautiful example and I think comfortably I'm gonna get 75 pound for that comfortably Really nice one with its original key. I may even throw a little brass fob on there or something just to really uh, tart it up. Or a nice, maybe a nice brass uh, Albert, in which case then I'll knock it up to 100 with a nice Albert. But it's a nice little item. And still going, still going strong. And it's got a nice tick to it now. So we had the two stools, we had the watch. I've also had this pair of bronze elephants. Now, I don't know if you class them as coal painted bronze because they got this finish on them. It's, it is worn in areas, as you can see here, with a bit of verdigris coming through. Um, I would say they're bookends, and I would probably think they're 1930s or 50s, but they really are beautiful. Nice quality casting, nice elephants, they are bronze. I could do it with some light, better light in on the film than I could. So, price again, I think 65 75 pounds the pay should be within reach comfortably for them. And the final lot I purchased of him was a little soapstone dish, and I didn't buy it for the dish. Bought it for the cash coins. There are loads and loads of cash coins in here. Now, cash coins, little Chinese cash coins, they can be of no value or they can be worth hundreds. So, yeah, that's what they are basically a little cash coin. So, I'm going to have to somehow date all these, see what we got, see if there's anything worth any money. There's a good variety. Of different types so I would think different periods I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fifteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three twenty I got twenty four so even if I said two or three pound each you know it's fifty sixty quid there no problem whatsoever, but some of these are going to be, there's bound to be one or two in there that are worth some money. So, nice job lot. I'll splice in some photographs of the coins at the end of the video. So if anybody's an expert on cash coins, you can maybe let me know if there's any rare ones in there. That'd be very helpful. I'd appreciate that. And then the box will go in the shop. Little soapstone dish. I'll put about £8 on the box. So... Where are we at? Let's assume 50 quid on the coins, a two pound a coin. 10 on the box, so that's 60 quid. 70 on the watch, uh, 130. Let's say 70 on the elephants, that's 200. And another 140, so we're at 340 pound return for 150 outlay. So I'm over doubling my money. And it's good stock. <coughs> That's about it, guys. That's where I'm at. It's, um, I'm not for the moon with what I bought yesterday. It was an, I don't need to be going by him, but it's more a an urge. I need to be out there treasure hunting. Just can't help myself. So if you've enjoyed, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and uh, a like and a share and a comment and whatever you feel like doing, guys. Um, and go across, check out my website, antiquesarena.com. I'm going to be doing regular blogs. 
only done one a minute, but I will be doing regular blogs and newsletters and updates and even special offers. So, you know, every now and again, I might throw in if you're a subscriber of the blogs and the newsletters, you may end up with like a 10 or 20% discount for a set, set period of time on my shop. You never know. So definitely will subscribe into uh, my newsletters and blogs, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.